You guys, I'm fumbling with a couple things in my hand. I'm sorry. We just, oh, we just got back from the excursion. Give everybody a, there you are, hello. Okay, I can just see comments popping up on the screen. I can't see what they're saying though. Hi Tom, hi Tyler, hi Tabitha, hi Joshua. Hello, hello you guys. Hi Kizzy. Oh, hi Kizzy. What time is it for Brandy you? Johnson and, yep. And, uh, Dave and Brandy's excursion. Hi Dave and Brandy. My screen just went completely black so I can see absolutely nothing now. I can see. Okay, so we are heading over to the waterfront so you can kind of see the water and then we're gonna flip you around and show you everything while we make our way over here. Um, How was your excursion? Our excursion was good. The waters are a bit choppy today. Um, I'm gonna come this way. The waters are a bit choppy today. So we had about a foot and a half seas, which doesn't sound like a whole lot until you're in it. Floating. <laughs> yeah, so. I sort of freaked out. Robert took me back to the boat and uh, I got on. He went out and snorkeled. Um, but they've just had that hurricane, so it's kind of, the, the seas aren't super clear yet. It hasn't all washed away and there were a ton of jellyfish, so. Yeah. Yes, Rick Rude, go, you, go Cougs. Yeah, go Cougs. All right, let me flip you around, make sure I'm hitting the right button. There she is, look at her. David Smith, that was on Carnival Legend that we were in Canada. Yeah, we are now in month. Key West. We are in Key West and more stops in the Bahamas. Yep, this is just our first port of call. Look at her. She is gorgeous, isn't she? Wow. Look at all those people waiting to get back on the ship. There was There's some confusion as to what time we have to be back on board, so we are not going to venture far from the ship. <laughs> just FYI. <laughs> so... But uh, there's the island. What's that island called, honey? We can't ever remember the name of it, but we've seen it on the map like 20 times and we still can't remember it. Tank Island. Tank Island. Can we get back to the boat from where we are here? Yeah, just follow it around and then it'll pass to the right. So there you go. There's some big old fancy homes over there. Yes, there are. Oprah Winfrey apparently rented out the entire island for an event once, according to our guide. <laughs> so, and then we have some more stuff over here. Real quick. Um, oh, yes, honey. I'm sorry to whip you around. It's okay. Uh, last time we were here, we looked and there was like two lots for sale for 1.5 million. No house, just a lot. No house, just a lot. Isn't she pretty? We've had a great couple of days on her already. Hey Lori. Hi Janice. So here's the water. You can see it's not real clear. Normally it's pretty clear here, but uh, it's been stirred up. So, um, Smith, we just talked about taking the RV to Key West. Yeah. About an hour ago when we, we were did. chatting with our. Uh... It's hard to get um, a rental spot in uh, Key West because it's so popular year around. So we're going to have to. Uh, really plan that i think we can walk through here the shops at mallory but i'm not 100 percent. like i said i don't want to venture too far so i think we'll go back the other direction that way we're towards the ship instead of yeah. away from it <laughs> and show some shopping yeah so does anybody have any questions about key west we can attempt to answer your questions um it is beautiful here today it's about 80 something degrees upper 80 80s, a nice breeze. The humidity feels quite low today compared to Texas, compared to Texas yeah. Um, although when we left Texas, we were at 37% humidity, which is a rare treat for us. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been great. We actually have not been in the MDR the entire sailing. Um, if you've been watching stories, you know that I have uh, enjoyed pasta bella for lunch both days. And uh, we had sushi last night for dinner. Well, Robert had... Uh, what did you eat last night for dinner? Nothing. Oh, that's right. We had such a big lunch, he didn't want dinner. Uh, Y'all know I always have room in my tummy for more food. So I had sushi, and uh, we have a boat coming in, a cat, and that's not a catamaran. It just looks like a shuttle butt boat, but uh, there you go. Bringing them in on this side. Oh, that's from that island. That boat comes from the little island we just showed you. There is a resort over there and uh, a restaurant, I believe. So, but it was fun when we were coming back, they took us fully around the other side of the ship, which was really cool. So now I have turned off my Wi-Fi. so hopefully it does not try and connect to the ship because that will cause buffering. 
So, um, but it was a great day. The catamaran was so much fun. Um, our tour, yes, we did. We saw one turtle. Um, we, and we weren't even snorkeling yet. They were coming along and he had just told us we are in the turtle path, like the turtle zone sanctuary kind of area. And, um, sure enough, we were looking over the side of the boat and there one was right there. And he was big too. He was like three or four feet. I mean, he, not four feet, but he's probably about three feet. He was enormous. Oh my goodness. The jellyfish were out <laughs> in in groves i mean there were thousands and thousands of them but that was also kind of in my mind when i got in the water and um i i, I struggled a little bit today <laughs> I'll, I'll be perfectly honest with you I, I did get in though i did try and i had left my goggles on the ship you all know i have my little special goggles that i use i left them on the ship because we changed bags right before we left we were like oh we don't need two bags and so i transferred everything over to the backpack which caused me to leave the tickets and <laughs> my goggles in in the uh tp wants to know if you enjoyed your tp hi uh, key lime pie i loved every bite of it it was delicious and we were going to actually pick it up and have it afterwards you know run it back on the ship but you couldn't bring it back on the ship because it was open so it wasn't a sealed package so it would not allow it back on the ship but there's lots of shopping along here uh the chandlery in the pearl key west um but i tell you what inside that right there is the best thing we have seen in key west all day long i'm going to give you all a few minutes to see if you can guess what we saw inside the little shopping center that was the best thing we saw all day <laughs> if you know us but at all you know what we saw <laughs> robert there could you hear me yes real quick uh andrew no you don't have to do an excursion you can just get off the ship walk around yeah pub crawl do and the there shopping. is a ton of shopping i'm about to take you around the corner and kind of show you a little bit um so you can see just a little bit around the and side. Cindy, we found key lime, gluten-free key lime pie at... Uh, Kermit's. Kermit's. It is straight down this road. Okay, so let me give you a little, a little direction so you can understand where we are. Okay, you see the ship is right there. We literally came off the ship. You walk, it's, it's a natural path to kind of walk this way in here. And you'll turn left and you'll walk straight down. And you see, I don't know if you can see it in here, but there is the little building or the house right there. There's two story, the trolley is turning left down the street and it's, I'm so short, you guys, I'm sorry. And it's going, it's going. And once it passes the little building, oh, and now we've lost the trolley. So it's just past that two story building down there is Kermit's kind of tucked in a little shopping center and across the street, kind of catty corner across the street is CVS. So that's how you'll know that you are at Kermit's and it's really easy to get there. It's just a straight shot, but down all of these streets is shopping, tons of shopping, everything from the more shopping, everything from the kitschy little beachy shops, you know, 9,000 different shirt options to choose from, you know, everything, anything and everything. But I'm going to advise you to go into this U.S. Coast Guard, Captain's Port, uh, the shops at Mallory Square. I'm going to recommend that you go in there. There are some handmade, homemade items in there, small businesses. We found an art store. I'm going to post it in the vlogs. I'm going to try and kind of post it in stories. I don't know if I can really put her information in there. She has the most, you know what, can we go through there? Here, real quick, she Dave, uh, you're not going to get Kokomo today, sorry. Uh, <laughs> And Excuse Ravishing us. Rick Rude, the Woodlands is amazing. All right. I would really look at it if it works for you. Oh, yeah, the Woodlands is gorgeous. All right, you guys, in this store is where we found the most amazing thing we've seen all day. I'm going to take you to meet him, okay? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you shocked? That's the most amazing thing we saw all day. Hello, baby. Hi, sweet prince. Hello, it's precious baby. Okay. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. All right. And you see there is a ton of homemade items here in this little section. 
you won't find anything imported. Well, I mean, things will be imported, but you know what I mean. It's all mostly handmade. But back here in the back corner, we love that sea turtle. See him? Oh, we want him on the walls in the back, on the back patio. Beautiful jewelry. And down here is ocean. Nope, it's the one past it. I'm just going to take a peek and then I'm going to show it on the the her Instagram. I already talked to her earlier. Okay. Look at these. Oh, aren't they absolute? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And they have a whole bunch of is backyardsofkeywest.com. Stunning. Look at them. Uh, you guys, I don't think I've ever seen artwork that I love as much as I love this. Lots of different. Look at them. And it's done from photography and her husband does it so yeah i'm very very excited so that's it right there backyards of key west but uh they ship so we're when we get home i'm gonna be a shopping and doing some shipping yes oh okay thank you Hi. hello you <laughs> and there's the woman of the hour <laughs> but the artwork on this is it's just, just absolutely beautiful and we love that it's made here it's homemade it's handmade you know you know we like to shop small so thank you so much thank you nice to meet you and then back here is wits frozen <laughs> wits frozen custard look at that you guys now y'all know that's not gluten-free but y'all know i want it <laughs> So, and we have some Cuban Coffee Queen from Key West. So, and then we can go straight back through there, which stained just, glass. yeah, oh, the stained glass is gorgeous. We could walk through there and then get back to the ship, but we'll come back out the way we came in. And uh, there you go. Twisted Tinsel, oh, how cute. That was closed earlier. My dog is my Valentine. Yes, and the boat. So. Oh, this one's open now. It's a little, they have lots of doggy and kitty paraphernalia in there. Aww. So, and that puppy that I introduced you to earlier, he, he or she, I don't know yet, uh, is a rescue. Isn't that beautiful? Look at him. We think that is gorgeous too. We just love this kind of stuff. Oh, it did? You back? Okay. Make sure you're not connected to the internet on uh, the ship. Okay. Hey, Brandy, are you back on a computer? I can see my screen in here, which is nice. So, and I will tell you, um, so Elliot and Matt, uh, Matt and Elliot's, uh, or Elliot and Matt's British Life, they have, um, they just came to Key West for the first time. They're from the UK. If you are not accustomed to the heat here, <laughs> I'm telling you, it is a whole different kind of heat. You know, being from Texas, we're acclimated to it. But I can tell you how many people we heard. <laughs> it's so hot. It's so hot. <laughs> it is. And it's very humid. And um, once you get kind of in this part, you lose your breeze. But, uh, yeah. Yes, uh, honey. Lane, LOL. Uh, Hello, what? He said keep those huddle people at in line oh uh, yes they just ran off we were trying to get them to stay for the live but they i don't think they understood that's what we meant but yeah. um yeah they are very 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 sweet check out huddle adventures yes check out huddle adventures of course dave and brandy too um and uh here's the little tram y'all i'm starting to get nervous i'm gonna head back to the ship y'all know how i feel i gotta be back like 14 hours before it's time to go but um kermit's is just past that two-story building right there and then the cvs is kind of at a caddy corner on the other side but you can see there is just tons of shopping there's shopping in here i bought a christmas ornament in here when we were here last but uh there's there's so much to see here so many short stores to go in you can rent a golf cart or you can just walk i mean if you want to walk off your guy's burger you could easily do six miles i mean we did <laughs> not today but the last time we were here yeah bike rentals i mean there is just so much to do so if you don't want an excursion i mean we were here all day we came in about 9 15 9 30 and all on board according to the app is 5 30 uh ship's time but according to which is central but according to our cruise director this morning he was confusing and he said 4 30. so i'm gonna listen to him so oops i don't want to lose robert so Anyway, we'll come through here. Oops. 
but that's the contour train and there's even stuff tucked down in there I mean there is just a ton to see here uh, they're, so they were asking about what kind of excursions they offer there's a bunch of them tell them about what we did so yeah there were a ton of excursions offered <laughs> offered um through carnival currently uh, you don't have to take a carnival excursion um the, but the one that we did today was the catamaran the fury catamaran and it's actual fury catamaran um which is kind of a big deal to me i love the fury catamarans they have them in cozumel a lot um and they took us out about seven miles and you got off in the water and you went snorkeling and uh then you came back and when when they were bringing us back they sort of took us on a little tour around the ship and around the little island over there fort fork fort fort island um y'all i'm trying to hold this tank battery island. tank island fort i knew it was something military something um and so uh yeah and it was great now the seas were a little choppy today it's been windy we just had a hurricane a couple weeks ago and you know so things haven't 100 percent recovered yet so including the ocean so you know that's something you have to keep in mind uh it was fun it really was fun and i absolutely love snorkeling and the catamarans it's just one of my most favorite thing i don't remember when we did it but I, we were on an excursion with dave and brandy and i think it was in um where were we i think we were in nassau uh yes we were with dave and brandy in nassau we had come back from pearl blue island blue blue lagoon and there was a catamaran in port and they were all leaving and they were all on the front of the catamaran whooping it up and i was like oh my gosh i have to do that and i have done it as often as i can since we did it the first time so um yeah it was lots of fun all right let's stop looking at me cake daddy says hi uh, hello cake daddy cake daddy hi oh my goodness you guys are doing so well i've been seeing your stuff on instagram if you guys are not following cake daddy on instagram you have to seriously he's the most impressive baker it's incredible so anyway, that's right. That's right. He's in the Dallas area. Okay. So, um, next time I'm up in Dallas and I'm going to make time, I'm coming in to see him. <laughs> okay. So here we go. We're back, back in port and there's the carnival dream. She's so beautiful. We've had such a great time. And tomorrow we are, where are we tomorrow, honey? Freeport. Freeport. And we are going to Pirates Cove tomorrow. So a beach day and y'all we are toasty today we got a little sun because you know who left the sunscreen you know where so <laughs> i will not make that mistake tomorrow anyway but uh we've had a great great time the crew has been amazing our cabin is awesome we've met so many great subscribers it's just it's just we've had such a great time and i love that we got to sail from galveston that's always so nice when you don't have to fly. Y'all, I could bring my whole closet. I mean, I, I just, I love it. <laughs> so please don't blow that horn, Captain, because you'll give me a heart attack. <laughs> Hello! No, you're fine, we're live. <laughs> There's more subscribers. Did y'all have a good day? I'm so glad, I'm so, so glad. Listen, we're gonna try and do a meetup on the ship. Are y'all online? Are you internet on the ship? Perfect. So I'm going to post it on Facebook. Okay, so probably the last couple of sea days because there have been so many subscribers and I haven't had a chance to chat with anybody. So oh, we're we'll get together. Oh, no, we're lucky. <laughs> we're the lucky ones. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> you guys, it has just been so amazing getting to meet so many of you. That's one of the best parts about sailing out of Texas is so many of you from Texas watch us. And so, or you cruise out of Galveston and you watch us. So that's where we get to meet. Most of you is on Texas ships. And I'm so excited that the next two sailings after this one are Texas ships. So we're gonna be, in January, we're gonna be on Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas and we will be on the Ruby Princess. And so I'm very excited. And I know a lot of you have told me you are gonna be on those sailings and i can't wait to meet you so we're gonna have to figure out a way to kind of do meetups beforehand because i was not prepared to meet so many amazing people and i feel bad when i don't have time 
well, usually we're scurrying off to like dinner or a show or something, or they are, and always stop us yes, please, please, please always stop us. Even if I look like I am flying 100 miles an hour with a camera in my hand, stop me. <laughs> hi, hello, hello, hello. So we are back here, but do stop me, stop us, because you're not interrupting us ever, ever. So that way we can say hi to you and chit chat with you and thank you personally for watching us. I mean, cause you guys get to see, am I, am I, oh, there I am. You guys get to see us. We never get to see you. So are you laughing at me? No, Blaine was telling Laura to behave. Oh. <laughs> uh, Laura, you'll love it. Oasis class is quite frankly cream of the crop. Yeah. We've done Symphony of the Seas and we've done o Oasis, Oasis of the Seas. And love it. And love it. Yes. So, um, and it's funny because, you know, we love, we love all cruise lines. It's really, I mean, how could you not? You're on a cruise ship. But it's all good. It's all good, right. But, you know, we kind of were a little bored with the smaller royal ships with Adventure. Mm -hmm. um, and Especially so, the second sailing. The sa did. Yeah. And so we were kind of like, mm, you know, let's, but we'll try Symphony. I wanted to be on a mega ship. Oh my goodness. 10 minutes in, I was like, <laughs> oh, I, I want to book another one. So it was awesome. What are you giggling at? We watch Robert to hear how awesome the Texans are. <laughs> well, they're normally not, but they were last yesterday, so that's all that matters. <laughs> he's doing the fantasy football with a bunch of guys. He's having a good time with that. Yes. So, um, anyway. So, do you guys have any specific questions? We're going to round it up here pretty soon so we can get back on the ship and take a shower and have some dinner. Yes. Because maybe you can guess what I'm having for dinner. Y'all know what I'm having for dinner. Chocolate covered marshmallows. <laughs> oh my god. They didn't have them on the ship, but they had them at Trader Joe's. Yes, I brought them with me. <laughs> They're delicious from Trader Joe. It's so much so I had to tell my friends, made my friends go and buy them. <laughs> and if you like pumpkin spice coffee, but you don't like bitter pumpkin spice coffee, Trader Joe's is very good. I really enjoy it. Allure so. has the Mexican restaurant that the other yeah. class did not have. Carl and Donna sailed Allure before us. How dare they? <laughs> I'm just kidding. David Smith, we actually have uh, a cruise out of California next. February of next year. Mm -hmm. So yep. we're going to Coast of Maya, not Coast of Maya, <laughs> we're going to uh, Matsalan, Cabo, Matsalan, and uh, Puerto Vallarta. Yeah, we're excited. So we're, we're never been that, that side group. before. Yes. But um, yes, we're doing Vlogmas always. Got to do Vlogmas. We, were, so, we will not be on the Vloggers cruise. No. Unfortunately, it is too close to Super Bowl, and that's a busy time of With year for me for work. So yeah. we, we were not able to make the Vlogger extravaganza, but I'm sure y'all, if you make that cruise, y'all will have a great time. And you I'm tired. And take over the ship and have fun. Yeah, y'all are going to have a blast. Just trust me, from doing adventure back when cruising started again with all those vloggers on the ship, it was awesome. Getting to meet everybody and see everybody and, you know, it, it was awesome. It was just, it was really good. So you're going to have a blast. So I'm sure they'll do, like, events and stuff. Oh, yeah, they've got a bunch of different stuff planned. Yeah, so you'll have a good time. Um, there was something else I was going to say. I don't remember. Oh, we are going camping for Thanksgiving. So... Well, those vlogs will be coming up. Um, uh, I'm excited about that. Of course, our son's going to smoke a turkey. And, you know, we're in Texas. We, we smoke our meat. That's just what we do. <laughs> so I'm just excited he finally bought a smoker so I don't have to cook the turkey anymore. Blaine, <laughs> you will have a great time on Horizon. Horizon oh, awesome. epic. Amazing. Fantastic. Is he going to... Uh... I'm not sure. Oh. Uh, I don't know who the cruise director is, but we had Donkey on Horizon. I love Donkey. And he was fantastic. Mark Q has been amazing. He's been very good. Yeah, we have really, really enjoyed him. He's funny. We, You guys know we like it when they're really off the cuff. So and Interacting. And yeah, and he has been. And, and he can take it like to the next level where it's hilarious. Hilarious. And so we really, we really and they like do that. do a live morning show. A live morning show. Now, you guys know from the Legend Vlogs, they, um, Gabe was on TV, and we miss that. We miss the interaction of a morning show where we're in the theater with them. Um, that's just something we love. It's <laughs> very classic carnival yes. for us. And um, that's where we first fell in love with our cruise director on the Freedom, Malcolm Woohoo Burns, mm -hmm. was at um, the morning show. We didn't even know what it was, and we, it was our first carnival cruise. And we went, and we were like, oh my gosh, we loved it. 
So. Chris Gross loved Mark II on the dream. Yeah, he's awesome, isn't he? He's he is just so sweet. He and is. The, and again, he preaches positivity. And you know how we feel about Motown, that. Motown uh, trivia last oh, night was hilarious. Fantastic. It was. He kept pulling people in. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The vlogs are going to be long on this series because we've been all over the ship. It's a <laughs> brand new ship to us. So, you know, we've been all over the ship. There's been lots to see. Oh, you'll love it. You'll love Cookie. See, oh, he's I on love Harmony. Cookie. Horizon, not Harmony. I love Cookie. I love Hor him. Cookie is hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yes. He, well, he lives in the Houston area. So, yes. um, you know, you can go and eat his, at his restaurant. Well, it, not it, his restaurant. It was but. funny. We were talking to him, and he works during the shutdown. He was working at a restaurant probably seven miles from our house. And I'm like, man, if we would have known, we, we would, definitely would have yeah. eaten there. Yeah. So, but we put the word out from our in our little community, and now all our friends go and eat with him. Hey, Dave. It's not gluten-free, so I can't eat there. Hi, Dave. Which Dave? Dave and Brandy's Dave? Yeah, Dave Woody. Uh, we will not be having a cabana at Half Moon K. No. They uh, were sold out and they were In case a pricey. They were. They were like four fifty, and I was like, uh, no, thank you. Not, mm -mm. No, because the food now is available. What's well, always available on the island, but it's not like you get special food in the cabana. It's the same food that's in the buffet. So, you know, it's not really different. But that even said, that wouldn't have made any kind of difference in that price. But... Um, we had the breeze booked for Simon London. Simon moved to Luminosa. We were like, you know, why we can do it, you know, the dream in eight day. And there were like three cabins left. We booked this last minute and the cabanas were already sold out. But honestly, it doesn't even matter. Even if they had been available at 450 or whatever they were, I would not have booked it at that price. That was just not going to happen. So, um, so we did move from a five day cruise to an eight day cruise with, uh, fantastic itinerary yeah so and we had obc because this was from like the breeze was from a cancellation so we had obc so all the excursions on this cruise were paid for with that obc which is awesome we were very happy Hashtag about that right no no not, not but exactly. right Hi, Allison. but uh, yeah this was a costly cruise because of the last minute booking and because it's out of galveston and at a popular time for us in texas to cruise so it's like the perfect weather this time of year. I know there's hurricanes, but as long as you don't have a hurricane, the weather is great. <laughs> so anyway, all right, you guys. Well, um, you know, we kind of walked you around. I really wanted to walk you around a lot more, but I, the confusion about the time uh, on getting back on board, y'all, I do not want to be peer runner. I have no interest in that. I want to be on YouTube under my terms, not under peer runner terms. So. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we're not doing that. So, but thank you so much for joining us. We're going to go live again tomorrow from Freeport at some port, po point. Um, I'll put up a chat room as soon as I can. The internet was wonky way out there. So I was having trouble getting the chat room up and Instagram stories to load and all that stuff. But, uh, so as soon as we can tomorrow, just watch for it. Um, watch for the chat room and I'll post it as soon as I can. But thank you so much for joining us today. We sincerely appreciate it. Yep. And, um, we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Hi. Where's the button? Can you see my screen? Oh, where's the X30? Hi.